call the meeting to order at 7 o'clock. May we have the roll, please? Ray Daney. Here. Mark Hopkins. Here. Steve Kane. Here. Tom Quinns. Here. Jim Lemberg. Here. John Miasso. Here. Tim Ridenour. Diane Nagel. Here. Shane Cook. Here. Austin Hopkins. Here. Laura Walls. You have a quorum. Okay. That being taken care of, I'm looking for a motion to approve the October 10th, 2013 minutes. Do we have a motion? So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Do we have a second? All right. Any other discussion? I just have one comment about the uh, the minutes. Uh, I'd like to know that Mr. Cook arrived at 7:35 for a seven o'clock meeting. Just want to point that out. Okay. I, I did. Yes. My, so it's part of the record. Not set my box forward yet. <laughs> Being no. Is there any other discussion? If not, may we have the roll, please? Diane Nagel. Yes. Shane Cook. Abstain. Steve Kane. Yes. Tom Coons. Yes. Okay. Austin right. Hopkins. Oh. Yes. John Miasso. Yes. Jim Lemberg. Yes. Mark Hopkins. Yes. Okay. We're all set. All right. Thank you. <coughs> first uh, item on uh, first case on our agenda this evening is case number thirteen dash two twenty two. It's the Main Street Plaza North a signed pl a pl plan amendment. Is the uh, petitioner present? Yeah, we are good. All right. Good evening, Sonia. All right. What time is the seven o'clock meeting, Sonia? Uh, yeah. All right. Sonia, would you be kind enough? We're uh, we're addressing. Uh, Case number 13-22, Main Street Plaza North, the sign plan amendment. Would you, uh, are you prepared to give the plan commission a little background? Yes, certainly. Well, I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Commission members, any uh, questions of staff? Does the petitioner wish to add anything? Okay, great. Any questions of the uh, petitioner from committee members? There being none. Okay. I'm looking for a motion to approve the petitioner's request for the uh, Unified Business sign, Center Sign Plan Amendment. Yeah, along. Make that motion to approve the sign as they wish. Okay. Do we have a second? I'll second that. Great. Any other discussion? May we have the roll, please? Jamie Miasso? Yes. Austin Hopkins? Yes. Mark Hopkins? Yes. Jim Lumberg? Yes. Shane Cook? Yes. Tom Kunz? Yes. Diane Nagel? Yes. Steve Kane? Yes. Great. Well, gentlemen, uh, good luck. It'll be passed on the uh, village board. And personally, I'd want to wish you a lot of luck with the business. And I'm so happy that the uh, staff, we had the amendment for the site plan. So uh, good luck, gentlemen.
What are you planning to open? We're hoping uh, for a, we'll call it a soft opening the week of St. Patrick's Day. Oh, okay. Hmm. March 17th? Yeah. Look forward to it. We're pushing for it. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Good. I'm not going to say that. Yeah, well, it's typical, you know, when petitions open restaurants that the plan commission, they, uh... <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> but he's not going to mention that. I know I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck, Jim. Good luck. Bye. Next item on our agenda is case number 13-18. This is a public hearing. It's the uh, MJB Gerber Road Resubdivision. It's a rezoning from ER1 to SR2 and a final plat resubdivision. Uh, is the petitioner present? Yeah. Right. We're going to ask, Jim's going to swear you in. Please, if you'd stand and raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you're about to give is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Yeah. I do. No. Okay. okay. Sonia, please. Oh, all the records have been, okay, everything's in order. We can move forward. Mm -hmm. All right, and just to make a note that you guys do have a letter from the Forest Preserve. They do own property across the street. Right. Well, kind of kitty corner from this site. Has this been in, entered into the record? That needs to be entered in as an exhibit as well. Okay. And they've said that they have no no issue with the, with the rezoning. Um, the petitioners come in, they would like to resubdivide the lot at 5 North 011 Gerber Road. Um, that is actually located just north of the Bartlett Examiner. If you guys are familiar with where that is at, they're at the northeast corner of Army Trail and Gerber Road. Um, the lot, uh, they are proposing to rezone it, uh, resubdivide it into two lots. In order to do that, it would need to be uh, rezoned to SR2, which is the zoning of um, a lot of the adjacent properties. There's some SR2s across the street on uh, the west side of Gerber, and the subdivision behind it, uh, the Enclave, is also zoned SR2. Um, so it is uh, some similar zoning there. The existing house on the lot does not meet the minimum setbacks of the ER1, so it's a non-conforming property to begin with, so it needs to be kind of dealt with to be rezoned anyway. So we felt SR2 was a good rezoning to go with. It will accommodate the two lots. Um, lot two uh, will be built with a new house that will require that attached garage to be removed from the existing house. You can see that area there. Um, once that's removed and the lot is subdivided into two, uh, a new house could be built on lot two and the existing house would remain on lot one. Uh, they would build then a detached garage to accommodate that house since the attached garage be removed. The, the existing house, um, they are making the lot so that it would meet the minimum setbacks of the SR2 district other than the um, front portion of the house. As you can see, it does not meet the setback, and so they will be going before the zoning board next month to request a variation to bring that existing house into conformance there for the front setback. But the house would meet the side yard setbacks and the rear setback. Um, the both lots, like I said, will meet the minimum requirements of the SR2. Uh, one will be just a little bit over 20,000 square feet, and the other one will be just under 20,000 square feet. Great. Yes, Steve. So they don't plan on removing that yellow portion of the house? No, they don't. That is the portion that needs the variance. That's, they need a variance. That's, yes. Okay, thank you. So that will be heard next month um, before the zoning board. I see. Yeah. This is a public hearing. Does anyone from the audience wish to give testimony or ask any questions or do you have any comments? <clears throat> no? Okay, fine. Uh, commission members, any questions of staff? Uh, I have a please. just quick question. I think this is more of a lack of experience on my part. Can, okay. What is the big difference between ER1 to SR2? Um, minimum lot size okay. and the setbacks. So minimum lot size for ER1 is about two acres. And the minimum lot size for SR2 is about a quarter acre. Okay, so since they're subdividing, we have to rezone. Mm -hmm. Okay. But their house, as it is, is less than an acre, so it doesn't even meet the or their lot existing does not meet the minimum requirements of the ER1 zoning district. So they really couldn't do anything with the property without addressing the non-conforming issues. Gotcha. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. It says uh, the village wants proof that the uh, private well and septic field have been abandoned. 
Why can't they keep the well? Uh, they're actually already on Village Water. Uh, we have the water that got brought down there back in, what, like 2006 or so? No. Well, I, if they have the city water, that's fine. But why can't they keep the well if they want a garden? Well, we need, we need proof that it's been capped off because they're required to do that in order to hook on to our, but why? our water system. Why? I think it's just um, to make sure for why, why can't they use a well that's on their property to water their garden we, or wash their <coughs> car? We have uh, a policy in the... Uh, Ordinance in the village that when the well, when we get city water to a property, wells are capped. Wells are notorious that when they're left alone to get infiltration from surface groundwater. And in this particular area, some of these wells are contaminated by subsurface water uh, contamination from uh, some properties to the north. That's why we installed the water line along Gerber Road. And encouraged all these people to hook up. It was it was in the news about yeah. seven or eight years yeah. ago, mm -hmm. and it also on Fair Oaks to the south in uh, Street uh, Carroll, Carroll Stream there were some contaminated wells. So that's why we want this one particularly capped off. <coughs> There's been some groundwater infiltration from some contaminants to the north. And we believe that it has. I mean, they submitted a copy of their permit um, with DuPage County to cap it off when they applied to a, um, hook onto our water and our water when we did. Unfortunately, we don't have a copy of the actual approved permit or past inspection from DuPage County, so we're asking for them to provide us with that so we can make certain that it has been taken care of. Okay. I also think that's a requirement by MWRD. Well, this is yeah. Cook County, so it doesn't yeah. Yeah, fall yeah, under the requirement. I, yeah, I believe MWRD has similar requirements. Right. Any other questions to staff? The Excuse me, petitioner wish to add anything? Uh, no. Okay. All right. And uh, commission members, any questions of the uh, petitioner, from the petitioner? No. Okay. That being the case, then, uh, looking for a motion to approve the petitioner's request for the rezoning from uh, ER1 to SR2 and a final plat resubdivision. Along with the recommendations of staff, do we have such a motion? Uh, I make that motion. Donut, SR2, and go along with the recommendations of staff. Fine. Do we have a second? A second. Okay. Any other questions? If not, may we have the roll, please? Tommy Yes. Dan Nagel? Yes. Tom Coons? Yes. Shane Cook? Yes. Steve Kane? Yes. Jim Lumberg? Yes. Boston Hopkins? Yes. Mark Hopkins? Yes. <coughs> okay. I'll close the public hearing, and with that, we want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And you don't have to bring any samples, appetizers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> business or new business? Um, I don't think there's any old business. New business is we've got a couple of other projects that are in the works um, that you'll be seeing soon. We've got a uh, new farmer's market that wants to locate in Gorski Plaza, so it's a special use for outdoor sales. And then, is that uh, the same one that's located on Route 59? It's, yes, it is. Yeah, they want to yeah. have a second location, correct? Right, right. So you'll be seeing that one next month, and I believe you'll be seeing an expansion of the BP Amico station at uh, County Farm and Stearns. They want to install a drive through and put a Dunkin' Donuts and a Subway in there. So that one should be coming to you next month. And I think that's what think we've that's got uh, yeah. for now. So... Mark your calendars, and uh, we'll have a meeting next month. Yep. Great. We have a meeting next month. Good. I, I'm okay. sorry, Jim. Where did you say the farmer's market? Which it's going to be in uh, Main Street or Gorski Plaza. Gorski Plaza. Bartlett Plaza. Bartlett Plaza. Bartlett uh, Plaza. By, by the Hostamia. Yeah. CVS. Before right. By the CVS. Yeah, before your time. <laughs> right. So that would and our meeting would be Thursday the 13th. That would make three that they 13th own, then. of March. March. Before the stills open. So you could, if yeah. there are soft opening, you can go there yeah, after the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yeah. 
Anything else? I'd like to thank the village for the uh, Christmas party. And, uh, well, you know, hopefully you know, everyone that attended from the commission, it was a really outstanding time. And I didn't get in any trouble this year. <laughs> Peg was, it was proud a of nice me. event. Yeah. Very nice. He was proud of me. Uh, motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? I didn't think so. <laughs>